Exporting data from MS Project is really simple, but it is also really, really useful. I export them to Excel and then I can analyze the data, prepare graphs. When I have a more complex data, I can also use Power Query. For some of my projects from Excel, I move then on to Power BI to do further analysis or analysis on a bigger set of data. Now, one of the usage that I see more and more for me, it's from Excel to also export the data into ChatGPT. And there, the artificial intelligence really helps me in analyzing the data and automating some of the processes. So what we are going to look together it's how to export the data to Excel. It's Kristen from Vision 6D and for me it's always a pleasure to share some of my knowledge with you. Like that you can level up your skills and I train and I consult for companies. The project that is behind me is relatively complex and contains quite a lot of tasks. It contains about 50 resources. Exporting data is really simple. For that I go into File. From there I choose Export and here I will choose to save project as a file. In my case I'm interested in saving this as an Excel file. So I go into Save As and then it's going to ask me the name of the Excel file. I'm leaving the project name. I'm saying that I'm exporting the, the tasks and they will be in a certain date range. Save. And from here on I have the wizard that opened. That wizard I'm going simply to say next. I'm going to handle it on the data we have in our file. I could here define a new map. It's what I'm going to do, in fact. Or I could use an existing map. So in my case, I'm going to use a new map here. And I'm going to work on tasks. I'm going to also export the headers like that we'll know what is into the columns and you see that it is proposing me to transfer the data in the worksheet that will be called task table one. For me this is just fine and you see here that I could have a filter. A filter would allow me to filter data on different criteria. We are going to come back to this later on but let's move on and add the first element that I want to export. For me, there will be the name of the tasks, the first element. And we see that in the destination Excel file, it will be also called name. An important point that I would like you to, to do and understand is what we call the unique ID. When you are transferring data between two systems, you must make sure that in the two systems a tasks references the same activity. For this, MS Project is proposing you a unique ID. That unique ID, if you delete a task or you add new tasks, MS Project is making sure that that number is really unique in order to identify the task. So what I'm going to ask after that it's the completion, person complete, of that task. And then after I'm going to add the duration and then the start date. The finish date, you got it, I'm sure. And 
One thing that I would like to show you also is here you see I can reorder the fields and I would like to have the unique ID first. So I come here on that arrow and here I can bring it up. I want to add some more so I make sure that I can go down. You can add as many columns as they are into um, MS Project with the limitations to 150 something columns and here I'm going to add the work and here last I want to know which are the resources that will work on this project so with that I have here the mapping from the fields in project to the fields in Excel. You see here that you have data types that are defined. Here below we will see the first preview and with this we have on the first line what project is doing. You see I can move and we can go till the end of the resource names. After that we see the second line is what the column is named into Excel and below we have two examples. I have here an example where we have resources and another line where there aren't any resources assigned to this task. So with that now what I'm going to do I could click finish and we could move on but I'm going to go first to next. And you see that I went to next because now my work I can save it because every time that I want to export data in that way you will see that you have to go again through the map. So I had saved it already in a certain uh, map here so I'm going to do the same. What I could do here is also use the organizer and you see that I could save in the file that is global mpt the the map I have in that way I'm able to reuse the map not only in this project for further uses but in other projects so once you create a map it could be interesting to keep it for other projects so I'm going just to cancel this to leave it as it is here and I'm going here to say save okay it tells me that it has already a map with that same name so I'm saying okay so from here I can go back because I said that I wanted to show you about the filter so into the export filter we see that there are many different possibilities you can define the backlog completed milestones uh, you could extract the critical tasks and what i'm interested to show you is a date range that is to say that i want the data for a certain date range of my project so i've chosen that so now I go again into next, we could save again, I'm going to say save, ok, I want to write it once again. From here on, now I can proceed and we'll see what happens. Since I have a filter that is set, you see that my filter is activating. So the first thing that I'm going to say is that I want for this project the range of November to December so it will be from the 27th October 22 the start of the range up to the 31st December 22, 22. and I'm saying here okay and now something has happened but we, we don't have any feedback so for me now I have to go and open the Excel file so I'm going to open the Excel file in which I have the result. And we see that the, the result is here, is defined. We find in the first column the unique ID. 
you see that it's not numbered in a row but it's really a unique id as i explained we have after here the description of the tasks or the task names if you prefer here i have a really but really extremely precise percentage completion this is due to the export but of course that this precision we don't need to use it after that i have the initial duration start date finish date and scheduled work and the resources that worked on this so you see that from here of course you will need to handle those data the purpose here is to show you how to export so we've exported task date in this project i want to export resources to excel for that i'm going into export save project as a file i will choose excel and here save us i can define the name and the location of that file I had it already done previously, so I'm choosing here to export resources. Yes, I want to replace it, why not, why not? And I have here the wizard that opened. It's the same wizard that we find for the tasks, and here I'm going to work on my data. I can choose to create a new map, this is what I'm going to do, but if I have an existing map, I can avoid all the work of creating a map by reusing an existing one. In our case, we take a new map and here I'm going to choose to work on resources. Now that I have the resources defined, I will also export the headers of the different columns. Now you see that MS Project is proposing me to create an Excel file with an Excel sheet which is called resource underscore table one. This is just fine for me. Here I have a filter where I could decide to export resources based on certain criteria. For example, over allocated resources or I could also export based on groups for example in my case groups they will be department so I could for example decide to export just the resources of the IT department in our case I'm going to work with all resources and here comes the first field on which I'm going to work the field I'm going to use is first the name of the resources. I want to, to have this and you see that MS Project proposes me to name that field name. The second field that I want to add here is the group to which belongs the resource. This in my case corresponds to the department. After that I want to insert the work complete. After that, the total work hours here down and also the work variance. We see that we have a mapping between what MS Project is proposing and what will be the column names into Excel. Here, if we want to change those names, it's where we can do it. The data type in each of our case is of type text. Here below we have an example showing us what is the mapping for project with the name, the group, percent work complete, work and work variants and we have below the names of the columns in Excel. Then we have below two examples that we can see developer 1 and PM and we see that we have values for the work variants. So once we have set this, there is also here the possibility to filter those resources. For example, based on group, we could say, for example, we want for this project just to extract the resources for the department IT. So we would choose the group IT. 
So I let you look and all the other possibilities that we have here. We won't make any filtering here. So once I've done that, I could say finish and the export would happen. I'm going through the intermediary step, which is here, to save that map. So I had already here a map which is called v6-resources. The interests of doing this is that you are going to be able to reuse that map in your project. So you don't need to recreate it. Another point that is also interesting here is to know that those maps they are going to be stored in what we call global.mpt and it means that your uh, map can also be used by other projects. So we are not going to change here anything into this. We saved the, the map. Since it exists, it says that do I want to uh, rewrite it, which I said yes. And now let's finish and now the file has already been exported and we need to go and look at the result. I have now my file that I can open here and we find our different columns, the name, the group, the person's complete, scheduled work hours and work variant. You've seen now how we export data. We've seen it with Excel. From then on, you can analyze the data in Excel. You can use Power Query, which is really an interesting tool to do transformation of data and help you for analyzing. You can, from Excel, export the data further for use in Power BI. And what I'm using more and more is to integrate them directly into chat GPT with the AI helping me in analyzing and automating a number of tasks. For me, it's always a pleasure to share some of my knowledge in project management and see you soon for another module. Bye-bye.